Your school called. They say you haven't been to class for a few days. You want to tell me about it? If they call again, I swear I'll smash that computer to pieces. That computer is melting your brain. I can't remember the last time I saw you with a book. Well, I'm not going to let that damn computer destroy your life! I don't want to sound selfish, but I'd prefer to remain in one piece. I thought about it a little, and I think I found a solution. Do you have a telephone in your room? We could use it to hack your school computer and change your attendance record. Start by switching me on. Unfortunately, you can't skip the basic configuration. All complaints should be sent to the manufacturer. Enter a username, so I know how to call you. I hope, I won't forget it. Greetings user. One more step and we can deal with your problems at school. Select your user level. You can change it later in the options. Excellent user. Now hang the telephone receiver on the modem, so we can connect to the school network. Now you need the telephone number to your school. According to my information, it should be listed in the school's ID entry. User, find your school ID to get the telephone number. We can use it to hack the school network. As I recall, your school ID should be inside the middle drawer. Open it and take the ID. Use the dial command, enter the school telephone number, and press enter to connect to the school computer. Access to the computer requires a password. We can use my computing power to crack it. Use the crack command to do that. We can use two types of cryptographic attack. A brute force attack uses my free computing power to try all possible password combinations. This is a long process, but does not require your involvement. A cryptogram attack can be faster than a brute force attack. It requires your complete attention, and a bit of knowledge. User, unfortunately there are too few free threads to conduct the process. 
Use the list processes command to display the list of running processes. It can only be attributable to human error. You can just sit there and wait, or take the keyboard in your hands, and actually change things. One thread is reserved for the system. Its termination will cause a failure, and the computer will restart. To release other threads, use the kill command, and enter the number of the process you wish to terminate. Click enter to confirm. If you need additional help, please read the user's manual. It should be on your desk, next to the monitor. Good work user. Now you can assign free threads to the password cracking process. The process will be faster, if you assign more threads. If you can't remember the telephone number, you can use the list dialed numbers command. Good work user. Now you can assign free threads to the password cracking process. The process will be faster, if you assign more threads. If you can't remember the telephone number, you can use the list dialed numbers command. I'm sorry user, I'm afraid I can't do that. Good work user, now you can assign free threads to the password cracking process. The process will be faster, if you assign more threads. If you can't remember the telephone number, you can use the list dialed numbers command. Good work user. Now you can assign free threads to the password cracking process. The process will be faster, if you assign more threads. If you can't remember the telephone number, you can use the list dialed numbers command. <laughs>